Hi Fern fans, we're on day 20 now and um, thinking forward to next week when she's allowed to go out if you want. Um, we, we're going to do a little bit more progress with the lead work. So what we're going to do is now, um, so, so far we've walked up and down the room with her on a lead, tried to always encourage her to be with us so the lead's loose, we don't want a tight lead. Now what we're going to do is try to, try to have a have it so the dog walks away from us, the lead gets tight, and then we walk the opposite way. Because we want the dog to learn, especially now while she's a puppy, they've got a bit of anxiety about being separated from us. Um, so it's a, it's a good time to capture that. The dog doesn't want to be away from us. The dog will think you're somewhere around it, but if you walk the opposite way, it's going to start panicking and it's going to come towards you. That's teaching the dog that if that collar or lead or harness, whatever it is, gets tight, then the best thing to do about that is to turn around and go with you, rather than the way a lot of people's dogs think. If that leads tight, I need to pull harder. We want the opposite one. As soon as that, there's a bit of pressure on the dog's neck, we want the dog to turn around and look for us and come with us, or come the opposite way to the pressure, to release that pressure himself. So we're going to put a lead on the dog, we're going to walk up and down the room a little bit. I'm going to try and encourage the dog to go ahead of me and as soon as there's a little bit of tension on that lead I'm going to turn around and walk the opposite way and encourage it because what eventually the dog will start thinking is I don't want that to happen so I'll keep my eye on, on my dad and I'll stay beside him that way if he's going to change direction rather than having that little bit of pressure on my neck I can do something about it before it happens and when I say pressure it's only very very light we're not going to yank the dog we're not going to try and choke her on the lead um, just a little bit of pressure so the dog knows there's, there's something happening and the dog can react to whatever's happening and, and fix it herself rather than us. We don't want to battle going down the street. Hey, we don't want to battle going down the street, yanking the dog back and your arm out. You just want a nice loose lead all the time. So this is the next step in the, in the way to achieve it. So we'll see how it goes. And again, we're just going to do this a few times a day in the house, up and down the house until she's really comfortable with it. Full of beans. Come on. In. Good girl. Come on. Come on. With me. Not that way. With me. Good girl. Good girl. Now I'm going to encourage you to go ahead. Come on. What's the matter? What's the matter with this? She's got this daft bow on. Yeah. Good girl. Good girl. Baby, baby, baby. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. And all we're going to do is just change direction every time she's ahead of us. Good girl. So that she knows the way to stop that pressure on her neck, even though it wasn't on her neck, it was in her mouth. We'll try again in a sec is to turn the opposite way and go with me. She'll go for what? Come on in. Go girl. Go girl. Oh. Okay, it's not going to happen because she's camera shy, but that's the, the, the principle. We're going to keep working on it. We're going to try and encourage her to go the opposite way and then we're going to turn around and go the, the opposite way again and just keep, it doesn't matter if you're going in a straight line or all around the place. I'm just going to keep walking around and try and encourage her. Second, there's a bit of pressure on her neck, or on a harness or whatever you use, to turn around and relieve the pressure herself. So we're going to keep doing that. We'll update you again soon and uh, see how we go from there.